Hey Nathan, it's Monday, May 12th. As per Anna Christine's request, I will also make a 25 things about me video. Even though I've already made a things about me video. Apparently four things just wasn't enough. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the important things. My favorite beer is Heineken and my favorite liquor is gin. Or is it rum? How do I choose? Oh, I know. My favorite light liquor is gin and my favorite dark liquor is rum. Yeah. I'm not very tall. I usually measure in just under 5 feet 3 inches. I'm a Pokemon master. I've been to France twice. I went to Paris with my mom and my aunt when I was 16, and when I was 18, I lived in a town south of Bordeaux with a family for about a month. Similarement, je peux parler français. When it comes to taste preferences, I like salty, spicy, um, sour, cheese. I'm the eldest child of three. My sister is three years younger than I am, and my brother is six years younger than I am. I've been a vegetarian for 13 years, but I'd have to say my favorite meats are beef jerky, chicken skin, hot dogs, and pepperoni. As I was growing up, my father really fostered my love for science and nature. We would do at-home experiments like tracking the growth of tree leaves in the springtime and comparing their growth cycles over the years. He also got me hooked on shows like Bill Nye the Science Guy and Kratz Creatures, and he would always do things like set up his telescope so we could look at Saturn's rings or detailed images of the moon. I'm really thankful for all of that, and I know it's something I'm going to do with my kids. Also, when I was a kid, when I would daydream in class, my default daydream was about the cream filling from Oreo cookies. Like, for a year or two, that was the first thing I would fantasize about. I frequently grow my fingernails long, like, uh, sometimes a little too long. Whenever girls ask me, like, OMG, how did you get your fingernails so long? I'm just like, uh, I didn't cut them? I also never wear fingernail polish, like, ever. I can't even remember the last time I had them painted. I can fall asleep in like five minutes sitting on the couch with all the lights on, watching a TV show or a movie, but, you know, it takes me like an hour to fall asleep if I'm lying in bed with all the lights off, just with my own thoughts, because, you know, logic. When I was a junior in high school, not long after starting working part-time, I started donating $30 a month to this little girl in Kenya, mostly because I knew that it was the right thing to do and that it would be good, but also partly because I knew I just didn't need the money that badly. Needless to say, I had to stop my sponsorship when I was in college. I'm like really, really good at procrastinating, which is really, really bad for my stress levels. Like, I can find any excuse to put things off and I always accomplish things in the end and I never learn my lesson. Going along with my procrastination skills, I'm also pretty lazy and can settle for sitting on the couch just to space out over finding something to do to entertain myself. I've worked with children, mostly toddlers, for the past 10 years. One reason why I think I'm so good with kids is because I remember what it's like to be one. I think most people forget how it is to be a kid by the time they grow up or even reach high school, and that can make it really hard to understand them. I've never had any body modifications like tattoos or piercings. Like, I don't even have my ears pierced. I'm definitely not against them, and I definitely won't say that I won't ever have them, but for now, I just don't. When I was in preschool, I wanted to grow up to be a singer slash gardener. Yeah. I have an incredible memory in regards to my childhood, French vocabulary, people's names, facts, events, and so on, but I can never seem to remember where I put my phone. I had my first celebrity crush when I was three years old. It was on Michael, the blonde boy from Barney. I am a published editor. I assisted my dad, who started his own book publishing company, in editing an anthology of short stories, so he decided to put my name in the book. That's right there. You'll be hearing more from me about his company, Hadley Real Books, in the upcoming weeks. I don't have the best connection with my emotions. Like, sometimes I can be inappropriately neutral, but then other times I'm like, Oh my god, that adorable video of that cute puppy kitten or old person makes me want to cry a million tears of happiness. I really, really want to have children, but I also have this weird fear that I'm going to die while giving birth because, you know, it's like the Middle Ages. But I'm really scared that that fear and my tendencies toward procrastination will keep me from trying until it's too late. I consider myself somewhat narcissistic, but then when somebody asks me to make a video discussing 25 things about myself, I frequently find myself drawing a blank trying to think of things, and then I consequently wonder if I even actually do know myself. 
I'm sometimes a little shy, but I'm really determined to break that habit because I really like being around people. Putting my feelings out on YouTube for the entire world to see definitely helps. And with that, Nathan, we won't be seeing you on Wednesday. I'll be making our video because it will be your birthday! And so, yeah, I guess, Nathan, you'll be seeing me on Wednesday.